Get in rhythm. When I come in, boom. Down the line once again. Cut it off. Back a bit. Step in. Shorter feet. Gonna back up a bit, hit some height. Oh, but. What's up, everyone? Katie here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today, we are gonna be talking about a drill that Taylor Fritz does that can help you guys improve your ground strokes. Before we get into the video, though, do not forget to like and subscribe. It just takes a little second just to scroll down and like and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. So if you guys can do that, greatly appreciated. However, let's get back to the video. Today's drill is called the Fritz 10. And let's talk about Taylor Fritz for a sec. He's had a very, very good and solid last couple of years on tour. He's recently won Indian Wells. Well, I shouldn't say recently, but the past year has won Indian Wells, made the Nido ATP Finals, and has been having some good, consistent results in Grand Slams. And he is known for his ground strokes. So this drill is called the Fritz 10. So we're gonna bring you guys on court and we're gonna walk you guys through how this drill is done. Just working on the Fritz 10 right now. It's a cross court forehand drill. You gotta get 10 consecutive balls cross court inside the back half of the box. We're just working on some consistency with that. So this is just a really good drill to really get your forehand in rhythm. I really like to do this one when my forehand feels off. You can kind of mix it up with some height. Step in a little bit as I just did. Neutral ball right there. Flatten it out a bit, hit a little bit more spin. Good one to get your forehand going with some rhythm. Now we're gonna go down the line. We just did cross court. Important to cut it off here. I'm not wanting to back up too much like this, especially when I'm getting a feed. When I come in, boom. Down the line once again, cut it off. Boom. It's important also to Mixed up between a little bit of flat and spin, just like on the cross court, go a little bit higher there, and then flatten it out like that one. You can also kind of mix up with your footwork too. Step in a little bit, do a couple lateral hops, back up too as well. Just inside out? Yeah. Okay, so start more in the middle, move around, boom. Get back a bit, step in, shorter feet. You're gonna back up a bit, hit some height. That was a little short, but it was okay. Up a bit. Oh, here's a good one. Boom, just a little wide. Boom. Shorter feet, step in. Back up. And then we just did inside out. A little bit of a different shot. Make sure I'm recovering a bit here. This is actually one of my weaker shots. Sometimes I flatten it out too much and I hit it in the net, but it's kind of because my footwork getting pushed back. Got some good height on that one. You can laser some, but just important you find the right ball, get some good spin there, got low. All right, so now you guys got a little bit of a different view. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm gonna do some backhand cross courts. Work on some different height depth here. A little higher there. Gotta make sure I'm getting my target though. Got cross court there. A little bit wide. This is something that this drill is very good for. Hitting your target with different spins and paces and depths. See, those ones are a little bit more floaty, but some you can hit with more topspin, some with more depth. Same thing, you guys, with the down the line. It's important to, we talked about this on the forum, it's important to be able to hit with a little bit of height. You don't always want to lace your ball because if it's a change of direction and you want to put height, it doesn't always need to be so hard. Well, that wasn't that hard. We'll go for a flat one here, a little flatter. Oh, gotta get up on this one, get a little toppy on that. Let some more height on this one. Doesn't need to be so perfect every time. A little more flatter there. Get around it. Regular backhand down the line. With some height on that one. And then laser this one. Oh yeah, that's nice. Laser. Oh yeah. 
One more. And then finish with some height. Ah. All right, everyone, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys are gonna start hitting some ground strokes like Taylor Fritz because he's smacking his forehand and backhand. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Laser this one. Oh yeah, that's nice. Laser. Oh yeah. <laughs>